You know, it really bothers me that there's no music on this screen. Every other Megazan, Meg, Megazan, every other Mega Man game is just ripping right now. But yeah, one, it's a rocking soundtrack at that. Mega Man 1, because we're playing the one that nobody likes to play. The Iceman stage sucks in this game. The Iceman? Yeah, because it's got, oh, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That got all the suck. blocks, yeah. the timing, the timed blocks. Bomb man, and that was it's like my most hated Mega Man thing is the the, the disappearing, disappearing blocks. blocks. Yes. Oh. <laughs> now this I know you said song. that I, you know, I'm not really good at platformers, but I would, I actually am pretty decent at Mega Man too. Yeah. Yeah. My best time's like 48 minutes, yeah. which, you know, isn't anything. But it's not slow. Mega Man 2 is kind of the Final Fantasy Mystic Quest of Mega Man games. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's not that. Well, wow. and, and when I say bad, I don't mean bad. But it's not that bad. No, it's uh, But Mega, Mega Man 2 is, is the most accessible one. But I just Take said that. Take the knife like out that of just, my back. Would you yeah, I, I just said that just to get a rise out of you. <laughs> Okay, this guy. I'm I'm gonna stay here and fight him, even though I really kind of don't have to. Uh, for the longest time, like when he turns in that stance to shoot you, I always thought he had like big lips, but that's his arm cannon. <laughs> so apparently, I was a very dumb child. <laughs> Damn, what that mouth do? <laughs> I, I, this is like the third or fourth time you've done that today. We're like. I say something and then you leave like a nine second pause before saying anything. And every time I'm like, do I need to say something else here? <laughs> do I need to fill this silence? I'm doing the, uh, I like the element of surprise. Yeah, Yo, is that so? <laughs> yeah, I got to keep the Legion on their Legion toes. Legion toes. Legion D's. <laughs> when we do get, uh, really famous and uh everyone knows who we are we need to make a legion t-shirt yeah a legion a, 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 a oh, legionish legendary legendary <laughs> legendary these guys the deadly, cost us three subscribers the deadly macaroon bots of mega man <laughs> macaroon they look like macaroons they tell me macaroons oh you piece of shit I wanted that extra life. I thought I had one more hit left in me. The deadly robot no! macaroons. You gotta look out for the macaroons, George. <laughs> Dr. Wiley was really hungry one day when he was <laughs> making robots. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Inspired by his favorite dessert snack. <laughs> it's a delicious robot. The macaroon, macaroon robot bot watch. was bored. Are macaroons good? I don't know that I've ever actually had one. I don't know if I've ever had one either, to be completely honest. Yeah. It's kind they of a dainty. Like they would be good. Not the most manly of desserts. Wow, man. Why am I having such a hard time? Is there such time? a thing as an effeminate dessert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like those tiny little cakes that are like 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 finger sized. Like yeah, like those little cakes. That, that's a female or is a brownie yeah. like a manly dessert? A brownie? Yeah. Yeah, I see a brownie is a unisex thing. Like that's kind of universal. It's a unisex dessert. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I, that's the vibe that I get from them. Yeah, yeah. That's, Brownies that's... exude unisex energy. <laughs> yeah, it's an in, in androgynous sort of like. <laughs> so like, uh, it's oh my gosh. Um, why am I forgetting this artist's name? David Bowie. It's the yes, the David Bowie <laughs> of uh, of desserts. So. In your opinion, what is a masculine dessert? Ah, I gotta kill this guy. Come on, you bitch. Oh, good. At least moving did anything. Okay, manly dessert. Sorry, I was focused. Uh, manly dessert. Those. <laughs> any of those. Uh, 
how, how, do, how do you describe them? They're cookies that you can buy in the grocery store, but they all, they come in this crinkly plastic and there's like six of them for a dollar. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. If, oh. if you, if I could send you a picture, you would know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but they're, anyways, they're these these cookies, and honestly, they're they're good. Uh, I've had them before, uh, but um, they're these cookies that oh my gosh, bro! Uh, they're always the exact same size, and they stack like three of them on top of each other on one side, and three of them on top of each other on the other side. And they sell them in like the cheap ass, like absolute, like most ghetto packaging. But they're really good cookies. I think that that's what I see as a man loser. <laughs> really, that was strangely again, a specific. Really long answer. I know it's very specific. This is what you know. Confession time. I think this is why I've had trouble going into streams lately because I. I want to have a real conversation and it almost feels like that's impossible in streams anymore because everyone's too busy trying to be memes and all that stuff that it you don't come into my stream Steve I'd talk to you I know you do you have when I when I get to go but you're <laughs> usually streaming way late for me I'm an old man I go to bed at like 8 30. no I don't really go to bed at 8 30 but I do go to bed early <laughs> oh thank god I made this. um but like the the whole thing, the whole point of that was that, like, whenever I write stuff, like in chat, like I'm having a real conversation. So also my responses seem to be a bit lengthy, and I'm yeah. like, good. Does this look make me look really cringy that I'm my responses are so lengthy or whatever? So yeah, so I, I just kind of watch. So. I watch and and don't comment a lot, at, or AKA lurking. Oh damn you! Send me. I, better not be my I find that there are often times when, like, I don't have a whole lot of time to watch a stream, but like, I want to go in, and but then I'm always like, I don't really want to say hi because then they're gonna be like, "Hey, man, what's going on? Good to see you." And I'm like, and then I'm gonna leave, and I almost feel like that's a dick move, you know? So like, sometimes <laughs> I feel like it's better to just like just go in, I'm just and gonna not just go in, lurk for a few minutes, and then like, if I ever see them, I'll be like. Oh hey man, I saw you playing, you know, this game, and yep. you know, I do the exact same bit. thing, man. To that, every bit of that story, down to, to a T, um, I do the exact same thing because I want to be there to support, and I want to let them know that I'm there, even though it may be after the fact, right? Um, but I didn't comment because everything that you just said is like, oh, people are gonna think I just showed up and said hey, and you know, self promotion or whatever. Or, giving fake support or and it's funny because yeah. like all of those thoughts sound absolutely ridiculous but that's the way people on the internet are really <laughs> take that shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i just show up and i don't say anything so yeah i'm with you on that one it like man it blows my mind that some like to the levels that some streamers go to to keep self-promotion and i say that with oh air gosh. quotes around it out of their streams and stuff like yeah. man some people have gone off the rails when it comes to that i could give really a shit less if somebody promotes themselves in my stream like i i don't think i could care any less than i do now <laughs> about it who are but some, some people pe who have some people uh, dude, get super butthurt about that shit who are some of those people that have <laughs> give us names <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are usually big partner streamer people, you know, <laughs> that don't that if you if you self promote in their streams, it's not like it's going to hurt them at all. But they're the people that get the most been out of shape about it. Yeah. You well, know? you know, what's funny is uh, one time I was talking uh, with some of my mods about that because, oh, shit. Wait, well, wait a second. It looks like too late, big man. moving green penises. <laughs> the wheels are the testicles. It's the whole package. See how I see how I tightened it up there at the end. The whole package <laughs> joke. I intentionally said nothing until you it were had layers. completely done because <laughs> I didn't want to be able to preserve that as a soundbite. <laughs> I don't need my stupid voice talking over it. 
We just need pure uncut Adam. Like these big penis green robot penises. <laughs> Tell me you don't pure get floppy uncut. dick vibes from these elevators. <laughs> yonk. <Yeah>. Yonk. <laughs> yonk. Yonk. <laughs> you know what's happening is uh, there's a. <laughs> They're sitting by a pool and a bunch of senior ladies walk by and they'll like, yonk, yonk. <laughs> Destri like, oh. Describe Retro Death Row in one clip. <laughs> it's just the penis getting erect over and over again. <laughs> oh, see, I was thinking of it more from the reverse of it getting floppy over and over again. <laughs> oh, it's nice and flat. Because then you just made it sound like I'm like really into grandmas or something. That guy might have just found it. That's great. Wow, what an assumption, Adam. <laughs> you know what happens when you assume, Adam. Yeah. You make an ass out of you, an umption. Uh, there was this... Okay, come on, so green wings. Going back to the streamer conversation and the, and the self-promotion. So, not to oh, name yeah, any yeah. names, but they were part of this group. And I won't say what the group is, yeah. you know, for anonymity's sake. <laughs> but I had never heard of this group, and so I asked in the chat, what uh, what is the group name? Question mark. And he like stops his like stream, like his playing, looks like looks at my comment and reads it and like says like uh it's an organization um around gaming or you know, however he chose to describe it and like acted like I was a complete fucking moron for not knowing what this group was, you know? And then Adam and... Wonder goes across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, well, excuse me, dude. So I'm like, all right, I got to keep watching this guy because I want to hate him more, you know? <laughs> and I'm sure he's going to give me uh, more reasons in which to do so. Floppy dick, floppy dick, floppy dick. Oh, God, jump to oh God, through the dick. Um, anyway, so he <laughs> is playing, he's playing a Dark Souls game. And, you know, I have some comments about it because he was playing three, which is like my favorite one. And, you know, so I was trying to interact with him a little bit. And somebody brings up Bloodborne, and which is a, another game in the series. Yeah. And he's like, I mean, Bloodborne's like, okay, but I mean, I guess if you can just deal with 30 FPS. And I was just like, that is the most cringe thing. I think you could response that you could have said to that because like all the souls born, like elite, you know, cringe Lords always, always bitch about the 30 FPS rate in Bloodborne as being its major flaw, you know, and like who really cares, you know? So he's like, yeah, only if you can do with like the 30 FPS. And then he goes on to say like, you know, Somebody came in and he mentioned that people coming in saying that they're going live is like they don't tolerate that and like it's stealing their viewers or whatever. And every time I hear the phrase like you're going to steal my viewers, I'm like, bro, that <laughs> shows that you just have no confidence in yourself that you can't carry your audience. You know, like they'll go watch anybody else, you know, <laughs> like this person that's never been in their stream before. I'll go watch this guy, you know, yeah. like. Why are you even worried about that, man? I don't know. My, but also, like, this is coming from a jaded, apathetic, oh, you know, streamer. Now, you know, I'm, a, I'm a washed-up video, video game streamer that just beads off on the internet. <laughs> so my apathy level is like a million percent. So and bead, he does. Indeed, I oh, do. I didn't get the jump, frick. Um. Shoot, and I couldn't kill him in time. Great. I'm trying to find what I said. Going scrolling through this conversation because I was like talking to other Steve and Matt about this guy, and I was like giving all these specific examples of things that he said to piss me off. I'm gonna find it. Oh, you're okay. You're looking for that on your phone. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. Gotcha. Oh, I need to switch to my bombs. I can't, uh, it's an organization. I just remember that was it's exactly those were the first words. Oh, that's what it was. He when he um, 
read my comment about what the group was, he stopped playing, and I swear, bro, he looked up my profile no. on his computer. <laughs> like, who is this guy? Who is this man? <laughs> Bar him from the entrance. <laughs> oh, wow. it's just this weirdo who's playing with beads on the internet. <laughs> That's like, did he funny. think I was trolling him or something? Like, I was genuinely curious. That's crazy, man. But now I know that it is an or an organization. And and you don't want to say what the name of the organization is, or you just don't remember? Oh, I know what it was. Oh, yeah, okay. But I don't want to... But you don't want to out anybody. Yes. That's kind of part of the story. Okay. Yeah. I'm taking the big, the higher road. There you go. Uh -oh. Oh, wow. Do you agree you with me though? What do you, what are you, what is your stance on people saying that they're going live and you like in your chat? Would that bother you? Is that something that would piss you off? Well, <laughs> that's a really good question. Um, would it, uh, would it bother me? Yes. However, it wouldn't bother me because I'm afraid of them stealing my viewers or me thinking that, like, them advertising that is going to hurt me in any way. And that's where most people are with that. It would bother me just because I think it's freaking rude <laughs> and thoughtless. Oh, well, yeah. yeah, it is a rude thing to do. Yeah. I will agree with you there. Well, and I started to say this a minute ago. It's like I had a conversation with some of my mods about this at one time because we had someone who was continually doing that and stuff in the chat. And um, I told him, I was like, if, if it's something that bothers me a whole lot, I'll go, I'll talk with them about it or mention it to him or something like that. But I was like, the truth is, <laughs> the type of person who's going to do that is not the type of person that's stealing anyone's viewers. <laughs> I yeah, I agree with you there. I agree with that too. Yeah, like, the, if you're someone who doesn't have the good sense not to like hawk your wares in etiquette. someone yeah. else's store, uh, tells me you're probably <laughs> not the type of person it. that people are going to be showing up in droves to watch. Right. Um, so I, I mean, I, maybe that does sound kind of prickish, but I don't know. That, I just always, I would always just feel super weird doing that. Like for me, hey guys, I'm going live right Whoa, now. Like, did you see that? Just type. I did see that. It, that it, like made it look like one of my bullets turned into the, my arm cannon sprite. That was crazy. Um, sorry, no, uh, I'd never seen that before. Um, but uh, but yeah, I my whole thing is, and this is what I, I told my mods is I was like, well, everything I just said, but then it was also like, um, it it really kind of people are let me reverse it. People doing that is never, ever, ever, ever going to do them any favors. Uh, right. Because I would venture to say uh, the vast majority of people realize that that's pretty uncouth type of behavior. And when yeah. someone self-promotes like that, it just identifies to other people, oh, that's not a guy I want to watch, you know? So. But let me, now, devil's advocate, though, I could propose the idea that not everybody says that in a way that is like that intended. Some people might just be saying, all right, man, well, I'm going to go. I got a stream here in a little bit. You know, I'll see you, you know, later or whatever. Like some people get bent out of shape about that. When I think, you know, like maybe well, they were just being like, all right, man, well, you know, I got my own thing to do. It was good seeing you. I mean, that's not self-promoting them. It was just them saying goodbye, you know, like. Well, but yeah, but I, I see what you're saying, and I agree with that scenario. But I also think someone's only going to say that in a in a stream of someone that they're pretty close with, you know. Well, yeah, I guess I see your is point this, there too. This one? Super arm, super arm, cut me. I was going to do this. Um, shoot, but uh. What in the world? Oh, I switched to the bombs by accident? What the fudge, bro? I got it. Uh, man, I totally lost my train of thought there. Oh, shoot. I'm really... Is it, he's weak to the bombs, though, isn't he? Ah, no. He's weak to oh, those Oh, no. It's that. Yeah. Now ah, I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh, I thought I killed him. <laughs> I so close. 
Um, we keep getting so caught up with the game that I keep forgetting what we're talking about. We, oh, oh, yeah, the self-promotion thing. Um, I think it just makes them look like they have no self-awareness, and I don't think it's ever going to help them. And the whole thing about, like, if a... I don't, well, okay, I only think the second thing you'd said, that, like, someone that you're friends with already is going to show up and say that, because, like, they probably know what your stream schedule is. They know you're about to go live. Um, right. I think even more than the in-chat self-promotion, the whole streamer psych psychosis, whatever, the one that gets me the most is, uh, and I, I, I could, can't say that I've heard of anyone having this problem in a long time, but like when one streamer gets upset at another streamer because they start streaming at the same time as them. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, you go live, I go live at six. That's my time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's, was that gatekeeping at its finest right there? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, That's my time block. <laughs> Squeeze me. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows that because you're so huge. Right. No, but uh, that that is some big time crazy behavior. So boys and girls, uh, let that be a lesson to you. Streamers are crazy people. Every single one. Extremely insecure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> from what I have gathered. Damn you. I hate this part so bad. Ah! There we go. We made it. But I mean, I guess I just have never gotten upset about it. You know, and just because, well, because I can't relate to it doesn't person. mean that it's not a thing. You know, I, I, get, I, mean, I get it. I understand why some people are upset about it, but I just have never taken it, taken anything like that, that seriously, I guess. Yeah. Well... And the, the, really, honestly, where this comes down to for me is like, if if them saying that and uh, is enough to get someone to leave my stream, I'm not doing a good enough job, anyways. <laughs> so you know, if Jeff showing up and be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go live in a few minutes, so I better get out of here." Okay, shoot, I thought they were blocked here. Um, Jeff and his monster-sized dong. Yeah, yeah, we're doing. King Dong Jeff show. Oh, King Dong him. Jeff. Um, Party of two. <laughs> but if uh, if him saying that gets everyone leaving my stream, I'm not doing a good job. So, holy. Oh, oh I got it. That time of that fell off. Oh my gosh. Did it stay so good? this little sequence right here, I had to play this game for League. And this little two to three screens, someone clipped uh, me screaming, oh my God, at a very high pitch. And because I just kept getting hit by things and I would miss the ladder and I could never nail it. I couldn't nail this jump. And I just kept getting hit by the enemies and stuff. <laughs> and I just was losing my shit. And not only did it become a clip, but someone, Hunter's Hybrid Gaming, um, took that soundbite and put that as like a sound clip for the stream so you could just do exclamation <laughs> point OMG and you would hear me go oh my god super loud <laughs> in the most shrillest of tones in a very shrill tone yes that's funny uh, because uh, that part on this oh, level yeah. was just horrible didn't you say there was another uh, thing where you got clipped for saying or doing that, something? Yes, it was Street Fighter 2 when I was for League and I was fighting for Ryu. For the League, man. Have you noticed like all these traumatic memories you share are always tied to the League? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do notice the correlation. <laughs> you know what, Steve? I'm not blind to this fact. <laughs> <laughs> Which is partly why I am no longer a competitor. <laughs> And why you're beating now. <laughs> yeah, it's why I don't even play games anymore. <laughs> it, it is a, a pretty big pendulum swing, you know, you going from achievement unlocked to page that shoots the G. Yeah, that was uh, all about the uh, do death runs and speed runs and such. Uh -huh. Yeah, so like from to... a very achievement based uh sort of page to like I'm making things with beads which Dude, I Midwestern don't... crazy cat lady yeah but Midwestern crazy cat lady yeah it's like you know the Midwestern crazy cat ladies like bead in their in their free time you oh. know it's... 
because they're crafters. Right. And they craft around their 125 cats. So, like, do you go to... Oh, shit, I thought I'd... Rah. I'm so close to death. To <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> I did see that. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, do I go to me. what? What was your question? The, these streams are so disjointed, I swear. Um, uh, is Hobby Lobby. I was going to ask you if, you if you go to Hobby Lobby. I do go to Hobby Lobby. They got great deals on all the crafting stuff. I went to Michael's yesterday. Michael's. I had to get some cork board, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's the coolest statement ever. <laughs> right. Man, right at the boss gate, too. Ain't that about a bitch? Oh, uh, you were going to be a game over anyway. So you would have to start from the beginning regardless. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is probably one of my lesser enjoyed songs from this OST. Legion of Followers. Um, oh, shit! <laughs> Fongers on Twitch has a wicked uh, custom Mega Man track that he plays on his stream that he did with his brother. Uh, his brother does the drums and he plays the guitar. And it's fantastic. You should check him out. It is very good. You should check it out. Actually, uh, I'll, I'll try to remember to put the link to that in the uh, description because, yeah, these guys, it's a, a cover of uh, Skull Man uh, from whichever one. I think it's Mega Man 5. Uh, anyways, it's uh, Skull Man, which is a pretty killer song anyways, but obviously when you, oh, shoot. When you, give when you put the metal into it. It's yeah, exactly. Pretty tasty. Hey, while we're uh, recommending uh, gaming-related music, people, uh, Dusty Zart, uh, a good, good uh, uh, friend, come, come, come. Uh, uh, what's the word that people use? Compatriot. <laughs> Compatriot, no, like uh, companion. Com yeah, companion. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to eschew the word friend in in deference to the word companion. <laughs> I had trouble calling you my YouTube partner. <laughs> well, we have a very special relationship, Steve. Yeah, it's like, he's my partner. Like, he's my partner. Uh, 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 professionally. <laughs> the, the kind of partner. Um, Plutonic partner. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my anyways, my, Dusty. Uh, okay, the whole thing with Dusty. Yes, uh, I your discovered companion. my companion, right? Um, uh, call, no, I can't remember the word. I keep trying to think of. Oh, I got it on the first try. Hell yes. Um, I discovered Dusty's music. I loved his music. Uh, and then when I started streaming, um, I messaged messaged him about using some of his music in you know my you know playing it in my stream or. Uh, I edited on a video one time and he's like, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'll always credit you and stuff like that. But just want to make sure it was okay with you before I did it. And he's like, yeah, sure. Um, well then, uh, uh, I, once I start getting into like professional video editing, um, you should go up the right side here. Should I? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. That, why am I, why do I keep doing that? Because I did it the last time and it totally fudged me in the beef, beef face, the beef hole. Um, but, uh, okay. So yeah, when I started editing videos, I reached out to him again. I'm like, Hey, I actually have a video, video editing business now. Um, how would you feel about me using your music in some of my projects? If, you know, crediting you and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, sure, man. Well then like beyond after that, uh, get started up with, Oh shit. Get started up with Nest Pro magazine. And, uh, oh man, this freaking wrecked me. Um, that went south quickly. Yeah, really. Um, but, uh, oh, uh, he got, we got, we wrote an article about him in the magazine. Uh, we included his music. Uh, was it a free download of the Mega Man 2? Is, oh wait, this one's the left though, isn't it? Or does it matter? Oh yeah, I'm going to go the right. Um, uh, a free download of the Mega Man 2 soundtrack for some of our Kickstarter backers. Um, so yeah, anyways, a lot, all that to say, like I've talked to Dusty for a long, long time, and he's always been a super, super cool guy. And um, I, I, I believe that he deserves uh, 
a whole lot more listeners than he has. Not to say that he doesn't have a ton already, but uh, the dude is just a You can always have more. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Guy's a hell of a musician. Okay, get this thing. Yeah. Wait, can I? What the fudge? How do I get out Now, of the only thing that you need to do is execute the underneath jump. The underneath? Uh, the, uh, like when he jumps over you. The big, the hopper guy. Oh, the gate. yeah. Can't you use the dog? Is the dog a platform in this one? Uh-uh. Yeah, I don't think Rush didn't show up till Mega Man 2. How do I get up here? Is it not even an option? Do I have to go back? Wow. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I always go outside. I don't know. I don't recall ever having had this problem before. I don't know either, but... This is the first time it's ever happened, I swear, honey. I already got that. So it's the left one here, I guess. I guess so, which is like the That's much whack. crappier one because we got these like wall disc guys. Oh, fudge, man. Maybe I always came here with like a power up that you can use. Is like the ice. Does the ice gun give you a block? Maybe you like use it to jump oh, up you know there? What? Uh, no. Uh, to ki I just now realized those guys. Oh! I knew he was going to. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that. There we go. Okay, good, 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 yes. Okay. What I was gonna say is the Cutman blades. Uh, you know the. These. Yeah. Um, you can uh kill those guys that go back and forth on the floor with that, which will make it a lot easier to get up here. And I had completely forgotten until just now. So. Hmm. The more you know. Now this is the under jump. It's but how how do you tell when he's gonna do the big jump? I don't know if you do. Well, that's what I was gonna say. It's like it's all. I'm not that good of a player, Steve. I was just. <laughs> it's all RNG. My... <laughs> I was hoping for the best here. Yeah. You weren't secretly hoping I would fail. No, I I don't wish that for you. <laughs> oh man! Oh no! I thought I waited too long. Oh, he singed my balls. In my small sensitive balls. Oh, I fell down some stairs and my shoes fell off. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so bad. It hurt. <laughs> Do I have, do I not have this? Gotta love the jerky boys, man. The jerky boys, my gosh. Are they, it's they're not around to anymore, prank are they? people nowadays. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I thought they had been gone for quite a while, but it's like, yeah, I don't know that you could get away with that crap anymore. Homeland yeah, security sure. would be on your front door. <laughs> <laughs> not that I feel that that's deserved or anything, but, uh, you know that's what would happen. <laughs> yes. Prank calling is a thing of the past. Man. Nobody even picks up their phone anymore for people they know. <laughs> what I love now is like getting the scam callers. Oh my gosh, I never told you about this. Um, I had gotten several scam phone calls over a few days. Uh, I have a Google Voice number for my stream, so people can call and leave me voicemails and whatever. They say nice things, they can mess with me, any number of things. Get away from me. Um, so anyways, <laughs> I decide on stream to call some of these scam numbers, and oh my lord, it was hilarious. <laughs> Just cornering people and... Uh, like doing everything we can to waste their time and make fun of them and it was so fun. That sounds it, amazing. It's the closest thing to the jerky boys we'll ever have again. Uh but yeah, these scam numbers, I swear. They're a lot of fun if you're ready to mess with them. But uh, Oh, I can imagine. I don't, see I I can't think that fast to my feet. I'm not I wouldn't be that good at it, I don't think. Oh, I'm great at it, man. I freaking love it. Um Give us cut, some examples. Cut. 
I don't remember. This is a long time ago. <laughs> I don't even remember like what started this conversation. It's like, how am I going to remember what I said on those strings? Uh, but uh, no, I, I there was one guy. This wasn't on stream, but like he was like went from like cursing my name uh, after I wasted like a ton of his time uh, to like saying that. I was a funny man and that I was his brother. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, well, if you're ever the roller over... coaster of emotions right there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty wild. Um... Oh, man, these guys are probably forgot about these tools. This whole level is a festering anal wart of a level. Hey! <laughs> your classic FAW. <laughs> This this level is pretty rough. See, I, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not that fast. <laughs> ah! That was close. You know, you don't get a whole lot of boost from being in the water. You know, normally on these underwater levels, you can jump like a mofo. Not on this. Which makes zero sense, but... You know, video games. What I guess that? if Gosh. we're arguing semantics about a uh, sentient robot man with a gun for an arm... Tracking down a crazy oh. professor. <laughs> e evil professor. Okay, so why did Dr. Wily have to make robots that were, well, like, uh, animals and stuff, you know, or that, oh, I forgot how these work. Um, but it's like, it makes me think of, like, Mega Man 2, where there's, oh, shoot. Okay, I just need to watch it. There, there, there. Okay, I think I got it now. <laughs> it makes me think of... God, man, I jumped too late. Mega Man 2, where there's, like, shrimp robots and stuff. Or there's, yeah. the, there's the rabbit robots uh, that shoot the uh, carrot missiles. <laughs> like, what the heck, Dr. Wily? <laughs> Well, ones. did he did he actually make all of them, or were some of them like like they were serving a purpose, and then you know he made oh, them no. evil or something? I'm so sorry. I lost. I <laughs> I got concentrated so hard I missed the second half of what you said there. Would you repeat that? <laughs> like uh, you know, like some of them you know were actually like there to do a job you know and then but he like you know reprogrammed oh. them to be evil you know or something like that yeah no i think that happened at, at least in in part in there shoot i need to pay more attention here. um but like yeah i think there were some of like dr life's robots that like got taken but i thought that the majority of them were like dr wiley's creation hmm because I was going to say that maybe the only reason that it was like that was because it was their people's attempt to make robots not so robot-y, you know, that they would be <laughs> yeah. animals with, that you would find in the woods, you know, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, you, know, you would find a robot beaver. <laughs> in, oh, no, it knocked me off. Did you see that? In the woods. I did see that. <laughs> the robot beaver. <laughs> he burns such a funny one. <laughs> ah, I missed it. Uh, the, the, why? The, okay, wow. We really the episodes today <laughs> have had some expert gameplay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to jump in. I've been. Doing See, I tell you, man. I am here. I freaking worse. hate these disappearing, reappearing blocks right with you, man. I told you this was the worst. This shit is terrible. Oops. And the parts where, like, in the later games where they have you do oh. this over, like, pits of death. Yeah. Get bent, Capcom. Get bent, I do Capcom. think that the Game Boy version of this of this is identical to the NES version. Uh, and I remember my friend having uh, the Game Boy version because, you know, we didn't have the Game Boy. The rich kids had Game Boys. Yeah. So... I would play it, and I remember not being able to beat a single level. Wow. And thinking that these games were so difficult that it is nice and refreshing to come back as an adult and be like, I'm going to spank this game in like a half hour. <laughs> what are you saying, Adam? 
You know, it's not going to take me a half hour to do this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would take me longer, too. It was just the general gist. Oh, okay. You, know, you, you can like, beat yes, it Steve, in an afternoon. You got about 10 you know, minutes to finish this game, <laughs> or you are a lesser man. <laughs> <laughs> let's <laughs> let's call it an afternoon. How about that? Oh, and I've got to do it all again. He's going to wish he had that one back, Cotton. Oh, bro. Oh, shoot. Got it. God, there's just so much troll shit in these games. Oh, for sure. I think Ninja Gaiden might be the worst, though, at at troll shit. What do you mean? Like of the classic titles that everybody uh, holds dear and dear to their heart. I no, think I mean, that like, Ninja like Gaiden what is troll a troll shit are you thinking of? Like, or just the fact that it like sends you all the way back to the beginning of the game? Or not the beginning, well, the beginning the, of that level? Or other the stuff. birds that come in and hit you out of the air that are designed oh, yeah, to hit you bad. there. You know, this, the enemy placement at the end of jumps, so, so like, you know, they're placed right on the edge of the next thing, so you have to like time the hit perfect to kill the enemy, you know, First or else try. you're going to bounce back into the yeah. pit of death. That kind of shit. Yeah, and like the eternal spawning, good lord, yeah. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Legion of Followers, I oh, actually wow. no death ran that game. And it took me a long time. We are all <laughs> to do. super impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. It looks like too late, big though. moving green penises. <laughs> the wheels are the testicles. It's the whole package. The wheels are the testicles. It's the whole package. <laughs>